Hey guys, Sam here from Roadrunner Sports, and today we are talking about the New Balance 860 V11. So as always, we are going to talk about the shoe specs first, so everything you need to know about the weight, the drop, um, you know, some of the materials, things like that. Then we'll dive into the performance, how it felt on the run for me, and just what we're hearing from other people too, um, how they feel this compares to the uh, 860 V10, and what I thought of the comparison to, and how it compares to some of your other favorite New Balance shoes that contain fresh foam, which this one now does. There's a little teaser for you there. So, diving into the specs first, this shoe is 11.4 ounces for men and 9.6 for women, so it comes in a little lighter than the 860 V10. And um, one of the hot, hot things about this shoe is it now contains fresh foam. So if you're familiar with the New Balance line and the updates they've made, the 1080 um, contains fresh foam now, as does the 880. So this is the next one to receive that star treatment. Uh, I don't know why I petted the shoe, but there you have it. Um, we're just so excited about the update, right? So um, this shoe has, has that now, which is really exciting. Um, and then it comes in at a, uh, it's, it's about a, what we call a cushion level four. So it's not as cushioned as the 1080, um, but it still does have some nice cushioning and you'll feel that difference between the 860 V10 and the 11 in that cushioning because of the fresh foam cushioning. It's a 10 millimeter drop. Um, so that's kind of the basics of what you need to know about the specs of the shoe. Um, we'll kind of blend the performance with the updates to the shoe so you can get a feel for how the changes to the shoe affected the performance. So I've spent about 20 plus miles in this shoe as I do with all of our shoes. And the things that I notice most is definitely this is a stability shoe. It absolutely is a stability shoe. Um, it feels very, very stable on the, on the run. You know, if you have any issues with um, back and forth movement, if you kind of move like this when you're running um, and you worry about kind of that slipping side to side, you're not gonna have to worry about that in this shoe. This has a really strong medial post. Um, it really has good support structure throughout. Um, so it's a really solid stability shoe. I'm not always a stability runner. I do test stability shoes too, but I enjoyed this shoe and I didn't feel like kind of like, for me personally, didn't feel like a shoe that was hindering my performance. I just felt really stable on the ride. So the most exciting update to me is that it now has fresh foam. So fresh foam, for those of you that are familiar, again, that's in the 1080, it's in the 880. Um, it's New Balance's premier foam. So this has a blend of fresh foam and fresh foam X throughout the midsole. That makes this shoe more cushioned than the 860 V10. A lot of people did mention that the 860 V10 felt a little less cushioned than they would like it to be. This gives you more of that cushioned ride. I really noticed, um, I wouldn't say that this is, it's not your ushy gushy 1080 where it's you know super cushioned. I love that shoe by the way. <laughs> Um, this one has a little bit more of a firm feel, um, and I think the reason for that is that it gives it a little bit more durability. So you have that stability factor and also that durability, which makes this an awesome everyday trainer. Um, a little bit more about the shoe too, is that the upper, the upper, I'll show you a little bit closer here. The upper is really nice. It's, um, it's pretty flexible very breathable. I like a good flexible upper. I don't like, you know, it still has structure, like supportive structure, but it's not like holding your foot firmly in place. It's pretty malleable here. Um, the tongue is nice and cushioned. I'll come a little bit closer so you can see that here. The tongue is nice and cushioned. Um, and the, big, the other big thing that I really like about this is I like the heel flare. The heel flare is pre present in the 1080 as well. Um, the 860 V10 did not have that, but the V11 does. One of the reasons um, that I think a lot of us think that they updated that is because some people were having issues with the 860 V10, seeing that it rubbed against the Achilles and the heel cup area. So they've updated not only this um, heel flare here, but also the heel cup to make it more supportive um, and it aligns better with the foot shape. So people aren't feeling that rubbing the Achilles. I certainly didn't feel it. I love um, the heel flare, it kind of serves as a heel tab too to pull your foot into the shoe. So um, that's a huge change and I think a change that was really appreciated by most. The feedback that I heard most often from the 860 V10 was that it felt like um, it could stand to have more cushioning. It didn't have fresh foam in it yet. And also that it uh, has some issues with rubbing in the Achilles. So those seem to be the two biggest things that people were looking for in terms of change with the 860 series. And that really happened with this one. New Balance listened and they took that into account 
They added that fresh foam for more cushioning and they added that heel flare and a better heel cup structure. So it's got just an overall stronger, better fit. So again, on the run, solid everyday trainer. I would use this for, um, I think I would reserve the 1080. Again, that is a neutral shoe, but I'd reserve the 1080 for my longer runs and this would be my everyday trainer. I like that it's durable, that it's stable. Um, I even took it on a little bit of uh, just very, very non-technical flat trails. It was just part of my run and it, it held up really well there. Has a really nice outsole. You'll see that here. It's nice and grippy, um, a very durable outsole. So I really enjoyed that everyday running aspect of the shoe because of that stability. Um, occasionally I feel a little wobbly, so it's nice to know that the shoe can support that. Uh, and then again, the heel, no heel slippage whatsoever. The shoe kind of, although it's a little bit heavier for me, other than the heaviness of it, it kind of disappeared on my foot in terms of just the structure um, in a good way. Like I wasn't feeling constricted by it. I wasn't feeling like my foot was stifled. I wasn't feeling like it was being like held firmly in place. I just felt like it was, it was doing what it's supposed to do without hindering any aspect of my run. So I really liked that about it. Um, again, for me, this is an everyday trainer. Uh, I think you can really like take this shoe out for a lot of miles because of that durability, that stability, um, you know, that supportive structure, the lack of hot spots and rubbing, rubbing, sorry, the lack of hot spots and rubbing. I have no idea why that was hard to say, but there you go. Um, so I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really comfortable shoe, good everyday trainer. Uh, if you have Achilles issues and you notice that you find rubbing in other shoes, this shoe's a good remedy for that. Uh, you know, it's got, it's really cushioned right here too in the heel tab actually. So that's a nice feature of it too. The heel collar is firm, but it doesn't feel, um, you don't notice that on your run. It just holds your heel nicely in place. So I think that's a great benefit of the shoe. And of course, if you have any issues with instability, this is a great shoe for you. Or if you're looking for cushioning that you could not find in the 860 V10, highly suggest this one. So again, this is the 860 V11. I am a fan, solid everyday trainer. Let's get another close up at this before we go. Fantastic. And remember, if you are a VIP with Roadrunner Sports, you can test this shoe out for 90 days. If you don't feel like it's the perfect fit for you, you can exchange it and get a pair that's right for you. All right, guys, make every mile count and I will see you on the road.